One year ago, Robtop uploaded the first Jump to Dash 2.2 sneak peek. The video itself looked insane, it didn't even feel real. It was so interesting that now all of Rob Tops' 2.2 videos now have a total of over 50 million views. So I started investigating to find more stuff about 2.2 and now I think 2.2 will break the internet. But first, we need to talk about the history of this game. Jump to Dash, or previously known as Jump to Jump, was released on August 13, 2013. as a very simple platforming game. This is when update 1.0 was released, with 7 levels, the editor only had a handful of options to choose from, and a very limited amount of other stuff to do. However, a month later, update 1.1 came out, and there was a lot of stuff. Firstly, a new level called Time Machine was added, which had the mirror portal, and now you can comment on other users' levels. More lookable colors, icons, bug fixing, and improvements. Later on, update 1.11 added Everplay, where you can share replays with your friends. We also had update 1.12, which added more bug fixes. Another month later, update 1.2 came out with a new level, Cycles, with a new game mode called The Ball. We also had two new icons, new achievements and rewards, and more bug fixing. This update added some flexibility on what you could do in the game, but it wasn't enough. So yet another month later, update 1.3 came out, and it was big. We had a new level called x Stop, and now we had a leaderboard system, make you feel special. We also had new level details, new effects, 10 new characters, and achievements, and more bug fixing. This was a meaty update with a ton of stuff to do, but we can do better. Update 1.4 was released two months later in December, and Robtop made sure that this update was meaty. A new level was launched which was called Clutterfunk, we also had new unlockable ships, mini and big portals, new level details and effects, and more bug fixes. And not only that, update 1.41 was also launched shortly after, where it fixed a very strange bug, where it caused players with over 500 stars or 5 completed demon levels to crash. Near the end of January 2014, update 1.5 was launched, and there was even more stuff. We had a new level called Theory of Everything, a new game mode called the UFO, more lockable ships and icons, new level details, effects, copy paste in the editor, and even more bug fixes. Update 1.51 was launched shortly after, which fixed the bug where saving large maps would make them crash. Now, Robtop is starting a tradition of one-upping himself every update, and oh boy in update 1.6, two months later he did. We have two new levels, Electroman Adventures and Club Step, which was the first Robtop demon level. Also, new secret coins on every single level. And that's not all. Destructible blocks, invincible blocks, map packs, new colors, cubes, ships, UFOs, balls, and bug fixes. On top of that, update 1.61 came out which fixed a bug running on iOS 5. Update 1.7 was definitely a big update. In only two months, Robto added a new level called Electrodynamics, a new speed game mode, lots of new arts and effects, new icons, new color, performance improvements, new map packs, new search filters, option to copy other people's levels, new tab system, and more bug fixes. And we're not even done yet. Update 1.71 came out which added even more bug fixing. Now Robtop is taking longer to make new updates, because 3 months later update 1.8 was launched in August. A new level was introduced called Hexagon Force, the dual portal and slopes, new achievements, colors, icons, and yes, even more bug fixing. Update 1.9 was definitely the biggest update yet, as not only it had taken another 3 months, but several additional small updates were added. Firstly, in update 1.9, two new levels called Blast Processing and Theory of Everything 2 was launched, a new game mode called The Wave, and a new music system from New Ground, a backup system, new achievements and colors, new level details, customizing the color of the object, color coding, search options, copy paste support for the editor, editor object limit increased to 15,000, and more bug fixing. And we're not even done. Update 1.91 and update 1.911 added more bug fixes. Update 1.921 added more bug fixes plus some more stuff. New performers option, added group features, and max objects increased to 20,000. And finally, update 1.93 added yet more bug fixes. Here's where things change. Three months went by and nothing. 
4 months, 6 months, and 8 months, until 9 months later. Update 2.0 was launched in August 2015, and this update was even bigger. Geometrical Dominator and Deadlock were launched, a new game called the Robot, moving objects, several triggers, object groups, custom objects, custom Z layering, teleport portals, coin system, profile pages, friends and messaging system, 50 new achievements and rewards, new art, editor preview mode, new editor improvements, unlimited color channels, bug fixes, and we're not even done yet. Update 2.01 was launched where new icons were added and an anti-cheat was added on Steam and more bug fixes. Welcome to the current era, update 2.1, a whole 16 months later. And what do we have? A whole supermarket worth of stuff. A new level called Finger Dash was launched, a new spider game mode, several new icons, new triggers, new rewards, quests, daily levels and editor improvements, bug fixing, and we aren't even done yet. A list of options for your levels, link your Twitch or your Twitter, epic ranking, hall of fame, death effects, lost gauntlets, diamonds and mana orbs, demon ratings, low detail mode, and then we have update 2.11. New iPhone X support, new icons, new community shop, weekly demons, folders, demons, chests, level leaderboards, a ton of gauntlets, and more bug fixing. Now that we talked about the past of this game, let's talk about the future. It is known that update 2.2 is the next update, but why hasn't it launched yet? It has been over 6 years since update 2.1 launched and Robtop hasn't said any release dates yet, though we have several clues. Before 2.1 was even launched, Robtop revealed plans for 2.2 saying that there will be new camera movements. It is also the 4th consecutive update to feature a new game mode, the Swingcopter. It is also the biggest update with 65 known new features and even many 2.2 controls and triggers that has been used in Drop to Dash Sub-Zero. There has been several more leaks and unlisted Robt of videos that I can't name or this video would be too long. However, what I can say is that based on the fact that all of the videos combined has over 50 million views and how Update 2.2 was commonly being talked about everywhere and how many sneak peeks there were and how Jump to Dash is at a record time high right now, I think when 2.2 releases, it will break the internet. Thank you so much for watching, go like and subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.